Welcome to another installment of my movie thing, which is what I've apparently decided to call it. I've got five new movies for you, so let's just get to cracking. First up, 1408. It's always the same thing with these kinds of horror movies. They do sort of a huge, gigantic build-up so that when the shit gets real, you just sit there and you kind of go... Eh. To be fair though, it does have some pretty creepy stuff in it. And John Cusack, as always, is very good. But I noticed something. He has tiny eyes. He's like a, like a chicken or a, or a rat or something. Mind you, a very pretty rat, but still a rat. One eyebrow and a half. You know, for not turning into a total cheese fest at the end. <laughs> Next up is Two Days in Paris. No, it's not a follow-up to One Night in Paris. Julie Delpy is a very versatile woman, it seems. She did basically everything in this movie that was physically possible for her to do. As such, it has turned into a bit of a masterclass in navel-gazing. But as a person who hasn't ever seen Julie Delpy in any movie before... Yeah, I know. It's shocking, isn't it? I have to say, it's pretty accessible. Adam Goldberg, her real-life ex-boyfriend, actually. He plays really well as this sort of a fish-out-of-water paranoid guy, and Julie Delpy, she's just... Oh, God, for the hell of this loose. <sighs> boom, 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 come on. I'm gonna have to do this elsewhere. That's better. Uh, and as helpless as lost as these two characters seem, you just can't help but relate and sort of sympathize with them. All in all, two eyebrows, because this movie proves that you don't have to be hysterical to be laugh out loud funny. Next up is Hallam Foe with a knee. This film is about as quirky as you get. Few, no wait, none of the characters are actually 100% likable. Most of them aren't likable at all. The titular hero, Hallam, he's a voyeurist with an edible complex. Charming. And yet, as often happens with these films, you, you can't help but relate. I mean, come on, who hasn't ever had sex with a stepmom? Am I right? Am I right? Jamie Bell, he doesn't really get to shine until the very end of the film. But when he shines, oh baby does he shine. All in all, two eyebrows. Next up is... This spy thriller come character drama... <laughs> he said come. <laughs> it was supposed to be Chris Cooper's big break. And he really does do an excellent job. But why did they pair him with such a ham sandwich? as Ryan Philippe. I mean, the guy would be incapable of looking intelligent if he forced him into an Atari t-shirt and put on coke bottle glasses for him. Hey, I resent that. I think. What's Atari? Other than that, there wasn't really a tense moment in the entire film. And it feels kind of redundant when you know that the guy is guilty and you know that he'll be caught and everything. You know exactly when he'll be caught. I mean, come on. I'm sorry, but I'm going to give this film a blank stare. Sorry, Chris, you deserve better than this. Last up is... Here of the Dog. Molly Shannon of Saturday Night Live. She plays well in this film. Other than that, oh, I feel all the characters are really well written, they're very entertaining. And especially Peter Sarsgaard has a very nice one as, uh, as the character Newt. In the end, however, I kind of felt like I was watching like a made-for-TV weekday matinee, you know what I mean? But, you know, the, the message of accepting yourself and of accepting people who think differently is kind of appealing, and it's well said, so I'll give it one eyebrow. That's it for this time. Tune in next time, because I'll be reviewing BATS! Oh, that was an interesting experience, let me tell you. See you then. The guy would be... In, I mean, the guy would be incapable of... Bleh, put him in a... If you gave him an... If you put...